Hey, what's up, y'all? Divine Chakras, welcome back to the channel. So, oh, let me fix my pants, y'all. Okay, so really quick, um, today we are talking about, really, really quick, creating boundaries, creating healthy boundaries, and what does that look like, right? So, the one thing that I had to learn, and I can speak from wholehearted experience is creating boundaries especially with um especially because number one i'm an empath and number two because i'm a people pleaser all right i like to please people and you know you could think as far outside the box as you want because <laughs> i probably uh please them in that way as well <laughs> but no in all seriousness i'm a people pleaser right i i get off on when people are excited and happy about the things that I do, right? So a lot of times those type of people look to other people to authenticate and or to um, to give them like praise, you know? Um, we look for people to validate us, right? Um, and I know it's more than just me. This is something that I struggle with on a daily basis is validation, all right? Um, even though I have the confidence, even though I know that you know I'm capable and call it narcissistic if you want um, <laughs> some people may say you know people that um, are narcissistic are about you know always seek validation but because I never received validation when I was younger as a as a child um, you know my parents were proud of me but when I did stuff that I knew that they necessarily didn't align with or when I did things that but, you know, we're kind of like stepping outside of the box because I've always been like the black sheep in my family, right? I'm the one who has all the tattoos. I'm the one who um, is openly, you know, dating the opposite sex. I'm the one who openly does not um, follow Christianity. Um, you know, I'm the one who doesn't have like the regular job. You know, the one who's the one who is still not married with a child like and not saying that there aren't other people in my family that are like this but i'm saying like i'm the only female pretty much um you know that's like around consistently that's like this and so um because i am also um there's not many like people my age in, in my family like my immediate family there's not a lot of people like around my age so um i was also i was also a loner like loner that I was also a loner growing up too um, because I'm also the only child so I tend to always seek validation all right now it's something that I have again it's something that I'm still struggling with but because I'm able to create healthy boundaries for myself I find that I am less I have less anxiety I am less stressed because I'm no longer number one seeking the validation of other people but number two I'm validating myself in the process okay um, everything that we have and we say this all the time everything that we have is already in us it is already aligned within our within our bodies within our physical bodies okay we have everything that we need everything that we want everything that we could have imagined or dreamed of it's it's all here and so the one thing that we have to do is we have to learn how to love ourselves at one point I'm, I'm not saying that I didn't love myself but I lost the love for myself um, after I had Kennedy I gained a lot of weight from taking depo this is back in the day when I was on birth control um, I gained so much weight being on depo I lost all the weight even after I have a cesarean I lost all the weight about two weeks after I had Kennedy right after like it was time for me to you know do what I need to do after my two week hiatus after having Kennedy from a cesarean lost all the weight was back into my regular um jeans and everything and then I started on the on the depo and that's what blew me up and that's when I started to lose confidence and I started to seek validation because I no longer had that confidence within myself um the one thing that we tend to do is if things happen to us um, you know whether we you know may get in an accident or something you know God forbid or we gain weight or you know something happens to our physical it tends to change us internally as well um, you know as above so below so within as within so without um, and if you don't have it within you you know completely within you 
that you know you can only validate yourself then you will continuously seek validation from other people and that's when we got to start to create boundaries because once we start seeking validation from other people we will do anything okay we will do anything for attention we will do anything to seek the approval of other people um including you know but not limited to um you know defiling our temples um becoming spiritually unaligned um you know doing things that are not for our highest good all right um but also you know we start to become physically drained mentally drained okay um and it's a form of self-abuse and then you start to allow other people to abuse you because they see that number one they see the desperate the desperado is what i call it the desperado um they feel that desperado energy coming off of you um as i see five 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 so i shame they see the de they feel that energy coming off you it's like they say a man can spell a desperate man a woman from a mile away best believe that shit is true okay i have enough male friends and i ask them truthfully about things like this especially come from a divine feminine energy as women we have to set the bar high and this is not just for men this is for everyone in our lives anyone that enters our lives and will take up some of our energy we have to create healthy boundaries that will keep us safe that will keep our energy safe okay um everyone doesn't deserve our help our our love you know the energy that we want to give everybody doesn't deserve it and everyone won't receive that and when you set these boundaries with it's just like when we speak those um positive intentions into ourselves you have to speak boundaries within yourself okay you have to create boundaries to yourself it's not something that you got to tell other people that you're doing this is something that you seek to validate within yourself that you can create boundaries all right throw chakra okay you could create boundaries that are going to keep you focused and keep you aligned with your goals okay with the things that you want to achieve in life whether that is, you know, getting a new job, whether that is saving money, whether it's losing weight, um, you know, whether it's to stop using drugs, whether it is to find um, a new, uh, uh, I don't know, find a husband, whether it's to have children, you know, whatever it is that you're seeking to do and accomplish in life, you have to set boundaries that will help you to align with those goals, okay? A crackhead cannot sm stop smoking crack if the crackhead continues to hang around the crackheads that they got caught up with all right a crackhead that is in recovery needs to create boundaries within themselves and say i will not go back to those people that i got caught up with that i was using drugs with it doesn't make sense you cannot get sick you cannot heal in the um environment in which you got sick in it's just not going to happen all right it's not gonna happen so um you know for example i know that you know creating boundaries with my mother has helped me to not get so upset or get so worked up you know when things happen between me and her i say you know when 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 she wants to move around the house and have an attitude i'm not gonna give into it i'm not gonna ask her what's wrong with her you know because that's all she wants is attention all right i am not going to continuously give in to kennedy and give her whatever she wants because she's going to be spoiled and she's not going to understand that she has to work hard for what she wants you know so those are just examples all right um you know i i, I want to stop drinking so i need to stop hanging around friends that drink that pressure me to drink and that's something that i did i had to cut off people like and i had to drop cut them like see you never okay like that's what i had to do um, in order for me to align with the things I need to align with at the time in which it came to me All right, this this shit is serious y'all like, you know, we can't go around Thinking that the universe is gonna help us if we don't want to help ourselves like things We're calling in all this abundance all this prosperity, but we're not even creating boundaries and you know creating um creating a pedestal for these things to step up on to come at our level or for us you know or or or, or what ha however that may look to you you cannot seek 
validation outside of yourself because they are only going to be validating you based on their validations of themselves okay no one is going to you can't you cannot a lot of times we cannot accept the advice of other people because they're only giving us their advice based on how they feel about the situation you know like it's like the friend that says i can't believe that it's like my friends that said oh you're still doing makeup blah 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 and it's like you know and then later on they say i live vicariously through you yeah exactly if i if i would if if i was still seeking validation in some areas of my life you know i would not Gone, have gone as far as I did in the makeup world. I have, I would have not had the experiences that I had, um, you know, in the makeup world. Spirituality, you know, a lot of my friends I had to cut off due to the fact that they were trying to play me because of my spiritual awakening. And you all would have never known anything about Shalom had Shalom continued to listen to her friends that were trying to validate her based on their own validations based on their own structure based on their own thought process okay so i say this to wrap this video up really quick because i'm pulling into my destination um you know we have got to stop seeking validation from other people we have got to create healthy boundaries within ourselves and actually execute them okay actually execute them not be yes people um you know just like I, and i need to read the the 48 laws of power but one of the 48 laws of power is you know committing once you shit, once you commit um to something or someone you've now lost power you've now lost your that power that you've had over the situation so anywho i just want to let you all know that um that's really it that's all I had I just had to get that off my chest because uh, one of my girls Flo she posted a post about boundaries and I know that I was speaking about boundaries um, in my divine um, in my divine I guess messages that I'm starting to do now so I'm glad that a lot of you all are feeling what I'm saying um, a lot of y'all understand where I'm coming from but most of all what I want is that you all actually put into practice these things so that your life um so that you can live the life that you deserve that live the life that you want okay oh my gosh i'm at the admissions and i hope the line's not long okay perfect all right anywho i love you guys so much thanks for watching and as always i'll check you guys in the next video peace